Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. And today I wanted to give you a very quick update on two of my new summer collection charms. So opening up my Pandora catalog, the first charm is this metallic blue gecko. He is such a cutie. And then next to him, you can see the hermit crab and the butterfly that was recently released. And then on the other side is the opalescent ocean deep blue charm. And he's next to the new jellyfish. So let me share with you my designs now. This little gecko is so sweet. I love the eyes. These little goggly eyes looking up on you when you're wearing him on your wrist. I think he is absolutely adorable. And he just kind of wraps around the bracelet. I do have him on the multi-strand bracelet, which I think is about the same width as the regular moments. So I put him right in the center of this bracelet here. So this design is using this new feather, multicolored feather Murano's, which is kind of weird, this shining green glass, but I think in reality it is a clear glass, so it might be reflecting something. So on this bracelet, I've got my little mushroom with toad on top, and look at the little door on the house, the pave daisy, these pave daisies, like when you're wearing this bracelet on your wrist, it just looks like teal and white CZs. You don't even notice the daisies. I just don't think Pandora did a really good job designing this one. I think the daisies should have been in one solid color with a contrast on the body of the charm. I've got my little bee dangle there. But what I really like, and you can see that um, the little gecko is a flipper, but when you're wearing him, he doesn't tend to flip that much. But I really like this new feather charm. The enamel goes so well with the gecko. I think he does. I think it looks really nice together. And then I've got the flower bouquet or floral bouquet right in the center. And then here is my little ladybug dangle. Uh, the little garden trowel and watering can. And I believe I saw this one in Australia's 50% off section, our sale section. So it might be included in the summer sale. And then a little bird over here. So let me try this design for you on, just so you can see how the little gecko looks. And here he is on my wrist. And as you can see, like he doesn't seem to rotate around that much. He just kind of seems to be right on top. And I really think he's adorable there. So now let me share with you how I use that new opalescent, the deep blue opalescent charm. And here is the new design that I created to go on this smooth bracelet. The smooth bracelet does not have any clip stations. So I do have one clip with silicone lining at this end, and then it just kind of free floats around on this bracelet. And I think that this new opalescent charm looks gorgeous with Bubbles the Octopus. I really like those two shades of blue together on the enamel, and I think it ties in really well. I especially love that there is some green flecks that are just shining through on this. I think it's beautiful. And here it is as a nice comparison with the original opalescent one. So they are very different, but similar. So I do have the two of these together on a bracelet design. So starting at this end, I have my Norwell. And he's such a unique shade of enamel. It's kind of got that watery effect. And then I have the Radiant Hearts charm. And this is the opalescent one. And this one's a light pink with white. This turtle here, the sparkling turtle, I think is still available with Pandora. And I'm realizing he needs a bit of a polish on top of his little flippers feet. Um, it looks like it's tarnished there. So I was storing him in my stacker's jewelry box before I got the anti-tarnish strips and it did a number on my Pandora charms. Um, this little dangle, the color changing gecko, I hardly ever get to see him change color. I guess I'm just too consistent with my temperatures, but I still really like the shade of that light blue with the dark blue, so I'm okay if he doesn't go purple. And in the center, I have the two seahorses, and there is an inscription when we have each other, we have everything. 
I like the little waves that are on the cutouts there. I think that looks really well done. And then I have the frosted pink turtle. And I almost wish that they had let this be just a plain clear pink. I think that would have been a little bit better than the frosted. And then a bit of a placeholder, but yet I still like it on this bracelet is the, um, the CZ hearts right here. I think it looks really pretty on this bracelet and it just kind of adds in the CZ that's on the turtle. The original opalescent um, charm that was released last summer and then a silicone line clip at the end with that shade of pink that matches the turtle as well. And then this radiant hearts. So this is the design that I came up with to use this new opalescent charm. And I'm really happy that I managed to combine both of them together in one bracelet. And that little bit of soft pink, I think it ties in nicely and it's balanced. So let me try this one on for you. And this is how it looks on my wrist. And I do like the colors on here. I think that this Radiant Hearts charm ties in well with this Murano and then having the deeper blue in the center with the two dangles. And then of course we got the little mini dangle on the seahorse charm. So now I've shared um, three of my charms that I recently purchased. Here is how I am wearing the sparkling bee and I like them on this gold uh, Pandora me it just makes him stand out so pretty it just showcases him and makes him the center of the attention so that is how I have this little sparkling bee right now on this bracelet and again the gecko and the new um, deep blue ocean charm so the only one I have left to share with you is Sebastian the crab and that will be coming up shortly Thank you so much for watching everybody. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope you're all doing well. Take care. Bye-bye.